I'm hurting, baby. I'm broken down. I need your loving, loving. I need it now. When I'm without you, I am something weak. You got me begging, begging. I'm on my knees. I don't wanna be needing your love. I just wanna be deep in your love, and it's killing me when you're away. Oh baby, 'cause I really don't care where you are. I just wanna be there where you are, and I gotta get one little taste. Sugar, yes please. Won't you come and put it down on me? Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me video. I'll be doing my hair, makeup. And also showing you my outfit. I'm just gonna talk you through everything. I just feel like it's easier to explain. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So with this uh, get ready with me video, put the brush down. I wanted to mention that I did get this in the mail. It's from ColourPop. Four different shadows that were made by Kathleen Lights. She sent me these to try out for the first time and um, to introduce to you guys. So I'm gonna just do a full look using these shadows because they look really nice. I swatched them the other day and I was pretty impressed. So I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna do a full out look. We got like a matte brown. This is called Cornelius, which is the name of her dog. So that's pretty cute. Super Shack, oh sorry. It is called Kathleen Lights. This one's called Blaze. It's more of like a greenish type of, type of gold glow. And it's just like a really pretty neutral beigey shade so that is the plan i'm gonna use all four of these babies right here there you go thanks babe. what are you doing right now i'm making food i just thought about you figured you might want some iced tea i do so i brought you some thank you babe all right gotta keep me hydrated i did already moisturize my face with this resist moisture renewal oil booster from paula's choice so this must have been in my march birch box yeah it's like the tiniest little baby sample, and it has an eyedropper. I want to just apply it to like the high points of my face, like chin, cheeks, nose, a little bit on the forehead. Oh my god, this is really, really oily. Instant hydration, like my face feels amazing. And I have the worst like dry spots, dry patches, and you can like c clearly see it when I put foundation on sometimes. So this just helps to get rid of that. I'm gonna go in with the Daily Hydration Moisturizer from e.l.f. If I use that oil first, then I don't have to use too much of this because unfortunately for me, this does not have the hydration that I wish it did. It's good, but um, I, I feel like I need a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Because my skin is like freaking so dry, it's actually depressing. For primer today, I'm gonna do the Professional from Benefit, one of my favorites, always. I feel like it works really, really well with my dry skin, but also with any, <laughs> I don't know what that was. I've never burped in my life. I don't even know, I don't know how either. Like one time I tried and I just can't, I don't understand how it works. I love this primer, it really does work well with whatever foundation I decide to put on. I mean, it could be like a serum foundation, powder foundation, which I probably would never do. Just regular liquid foundations, even creams. Just works with everything. Today we're gonna go for this one. I've tried this foundation before and I used the one I had up completely so I went and bought a new one. It's called True Beige in N5. Randomly decided, I'm actually gonna use my fingers to apply this today. Cause my hands are already like pretty oily from that oil I used so this will just help the foundation to really blend into the skin. A little bit on the forehead. So we're gonna go in with this NYX High Definition High Definition Eyeshadow Base. I always use the e.l.f. eyeshadow base, but lately I've been liking this one a lot more. It's much more pigmented. All right, we're gonna go in first with Cornelius. So we're picking up this shade with a soft dome brush from Makeup Geek. And we are applying this into that crease I'm gonna go all the way from the very edge of the eye into the inner corner and I'm just gonna use my yeah. fingers to blend this out ooh that is a nice shade that is pretty I like that you could just 
put some mascara on and be good to go with this. It blends in well. Ooh, it's so pretty. What does this remind me of? <laughs> this is what the shadow reminds me of, Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. Very, very similar in warmth, you know? I'm gonna use this shade on the lid. This one is Kathleen Lights. I'm going to use my finger. Do you see that? How my finger just sinks in? It's actually kind of creamy. This is gonna go on the center of the lid. Oh, snap. It's crazy pigmented. I'm just blending this back and forth, but mainly concentrating it on the center of the lid. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Mmm, so pretty. I'm gonna go in now with Glow, which looks like this. And we're just gonna keep going with the fingers, guys. Right on the brow bone. And then blend it out. It's a tiny bit into the inner corners. I'm gonna go back in to the shade Cornelius and then work it into that outer corner again. The shade Blaze. I'm gonna use my favorite mascara, the Voluminous Butterfly Intensa. My favorite does usually change quite often, but this has always been like one that I've loved. Now I'm going to be going in with some concealer. This is Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in Fair. Just going to blend this out. This is actually a broken <laughs> makeup cake brush and it's, um, I believe it's called a face buffer brush. I really like using it for concealer. It does blend out really nicely but it's broken because I used it so dang much. <laughs> I broke it. It's my fault. I was too rough with it. We were having fights. I'm just kidding, I actually really like this brush. It's never given me problems until it broke. I probably just had a bad one, the glue. I am gonna put a little on my nose and up on the forehead too. And blow in that out really quickly. Oops, I realized that this was wide open, sorry about that. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. translucent powder next. One of my favorites for using under the eyes, I love that it doesn't look like super cakey at all. It actually like completely gets rid of my pores, I feel like. Sometimes, you know, that under eye area can look a bit heavy on me. But this just really mattifies it all down. It makes it super smoothed out. Pretty much blend this wherever I applied the concealer. I honestly have not used this in a while. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Matte Powder. And this is a Sedona Lace FB03. I've been like obsessing over my Anastasia Contour Kit and I just haven't been using anything else and I sort of start to feel bad <laughs> for all my other makeup products because I'm not using them. I'm blending this down my neck too because I, I didn't tan, stupidly. Probably should have, but didn't. Slight bit on the nose. I guess I'm going for more of like a, a summery glow type of look today <laughs> with the makeup. Everything just seems more glowy. 
I love bronzed out skin. I think I'm actually gonna skip out on blush and just really work this bronzer onto my face. Blend everything out. So we're zoomed in again, and I'm just going to quickly finish up that lower lash line with more of this color here, which was Cornelius. Applying this right to the lower lash line. God, these shadows are so creamy. It's like all I keep thinking is how nice and creamy these are. It's crazy. Really nice. Very easy to blend. I love how natural this looks too. This is a telescopic shocking extensions mascara and I saw the brush and it looked like, you know, worth worth giving a try. So we'll see how this goes. I'm scared. <laughs> so far so good. If this smears on me guys throughout the day I'm gonna be so mad. Let me know if any of you guys have tried this one. Definitely separated my lashes out nice though. This is the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Rose. I just recently picked this one up. So we're going to use this first. Line the lips. Alright guys, I'm really quiet when I do this, I gotta concentrate. Very nice. I was just, I wanted something that was like pinky nude. And then over top, we're gonna go in with this Too Faced Glamour Gloss Volumizing Lip Gloss with Lip Injection Comfort Plump. Champagne Room. Oh my goodness. We got the glow, guys. Be real. This gloss is insane. Whoa. I'm going under her book. It's much better. Wowzers. So we're finished now with the makeup. I do like the lips after I blotted them. Definitely is very dewy. This is such a summery look, but I think it would be cool for spring. You know, summer's almost here, guys, right? Summer's almost here. All right. So zoomed out now. I want to show you guys how I did my braid really quickly. So let me just undo it. Um, my bangs here, I did curl them away from my face. So I used this new me. It is a flat iron. Now this actually comes in a full set. So ugh, let me just get it really quickly. This is what it looks like. wanted to show you guys. It actually has a three in one curling wand with three different barrels that are different sizes and then the flat iron which I'm going to be using today for this look. But I love this set because it comes with everything and I do have a coupon code with you guys. So actually <laughs> like one of the weirdest coupon codes though. Um, let me get my phone so I can share it with you guys. I think one of them is like gummy bears. So this is what the codes are. For 40% off hair tools and free shipping, you use the code cookie crumble. And then for $100 off any curling one set, like this one here, the curl jam, plus you get a free argan oil, you can use the code gummy worms for that one. And you can just visit newmeproducts.com if you guys are interested in using those. It does heat up really fast. And also the heat is adjustable. I have it at the highest temperature right now just because I am gonna quickly run this through my bangs. This also has infrared heat technology and ceramic plates. So what that's gonna do is really like flatten out the hair, get rid of the frizzies, and also make it super shiny. So what I do is I first take this like smaller section of bangs in the front, I clamp it down away from my face, right around like my eyebrow area, and then I curl twice and then bring it towards my face. 
like this way going diagonally just kind of let it cool and then I take the next section that's like right before my ear about halfway down the head I'm gonna run my flat iron through this piece of hair first so it's nice and like even and then we're gonna do the same thing twist it twice and then pull it towards the face Dan said he wants to have Christmas dinner <laughs> Sorry, I mean, he's the dinner around like 7.30, okay? Tonight? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done. So Thanks, babe. <laughs> Easter dinner. Okay. Um, the reason why I like to curl my, my hair like going this way is because I like it to cover my ear. I like it to cover my face. If you curl it too far back, then the curls are going to be back here, which I, I don't personally like. Um, I'm just going to let this cool. And we're going to work on the other side. I'm going to use about this much hair again. Clamp it near the eyebrow and twist twice and then bring it towards the face. Same thing, take that second section, twist twice, bring it towards the face. And I'm going to run my fingers through it. My batteries are like non-existent right now. My battery, I don't have two batteries, only one. But I just finished running my hands through my hair and I'm gonna quickly <laughs> show you guys how I do the braid but that's that's really it for the bangs I think I'm gonna actually use a little bit of hairspray just so that it stays in place but I keep this section of hair out bring everything else to this side I like it to be on the side split the hair into three I'm gonna bring this back piece that's near the neck over the middle and then this piece here in the middle. In the middle. Go in the middle. I'm basically bringing this over, every strand over the other. Just a regular braid. But I find that when I when I go over rather than under, it helps to keep all my shorter layers in because I, I am wearing extensions, guys. So sometimes I really like don't do the braid 100% perfect. Like I mix the strands in with each other. Um, all right, so braid about that far down. Go ahead and tie this in place really tightly. And then I hold the bottom and I just start pulling these strands. accidentally pulled that one out completely but it's okay if it gets messy and, and pieces fall out I, I personally like the messier look the messier the better for me but what really takes the longest is just the pulling like trying to make it perfect I like this style braid though I feel like it's very romantic it, it looks neat even though it is like kind of all over the place at the same time so once you have the braid down then I just take this section of hair out my bangs and then from the back like this area here I just pull just very slightly so that it takes some of the volume from here over to here so I got my bangs out kind of loosen up this hair I'm going to adjust this a little bit more, make these a bit bigger. I like my braid to be like huge, almost like as if you can barely even tell it's a braid. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spray my braid. I'm going to spray my bangs too, just kind of pull them down so it's a little bit straighter near the ends. So that's what the braid looks like. Pretty much, that is it for the hair and makeup. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys my outfit and that'll be it for the video. So thank you guys for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye, happy Easter. Mm -hmm. I'm hurting, baby. I'm broken down. I need to love it, love it. I need it now. When I'm without you, I am something weak. You got me begging, begging, I'm on my knees I don't wanna be needy in love I just wanna be deep in love And it's killing me when you're away
oh baby Cause I really don't care where you are I just wanna be there where you are And I gotta get one little taste Sugar, yes please Won't you come and put it down on me Your message must be quick I'm like, I can't say it <laughs> Your message must be quick Yeah, the battery's gonna die Guys, the battery on this camera is not gonna die for dinner we'll make sure to vlog it so go to our vlog channel matt and kaylee check it out that's gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys like it and i'll see you